that at the end of the day, we are going to get behind the winner. Because together we know that our differences are far, far less than our differences with this dangerous president. So I say to the American people, Democrats, independents, a number of Republicans, let us stand together for dignity and decency in the White House. Let it be Trump. But I think now that the election, the primary nomination process is coming down to two people, it is important to the American people the people of Illinois to understand the differences between us in terms of our record, in terms of our vision for the future. <laughs> Joe Biden and I are friends, I have known him for many years, but we have different records, we have a different vision, the American people will hear about it. When George W. Bush and Dick Cheney told us we had to invade Iraq, which was the worst foreign policy blunder in the modern history of this country. To stabilize the region cost us thousands of young, very men and women from our own country, cost trillions of dollars. One of us voted for that war, that was Joe Biden. One of us led the opposition to that war, that was Bernie Sanders. Twelve years ago, when the crooks on Wall Street nearly destroyed our economy, they came to Wall Street and said, oh please, bail us out. One of us voted for that outrageous bailout. That was Joe Biden. One of us led the opposition to that bailout. That was Bernie Sanders. Back in the 1990s, when you had corporate America coming before Congress and they're saying, we need trade agreements. We need a NAFTA. We need a permanent normal trade relations with China. One of us, Joe Biden, voted for those agreements, which cost us almost 5 million decent pay jobs. One of us worked with the unions in this country. and understood that it was unfair to ask American workers to compete against people in China, Russia, North China, in Vietnam, in Mexico, and all the way to countries who are earning starvation wages. As a result of those trade agreements, we lost almost 5 million good-paying jobs, we engaged in a race to the bottom where wages actually went down. There are manufacturing workers today in America making 9, 10, 11 bucks an hour. Those trade agreements were a disaster. Joe was wrong. I was right. A number of years ago, there was a big discussion in the Senate, in the, in the House, about Social Security. Joe Biden was on the floor of the Senate talking about the need to cut Social Security and Medicare and veterans programs in order to balance the budget. My view was, and it is, that when you've got millions of seniors trying to get by on 12, 13, 14,000 dollars a year, Social Security, and I don't, I don't know anybody survives on that kind of income. You don't cut Social Security, you expand Social Security. 